reality is probably stranger even than the, <laughs> the story I tell at the start of that. Yeah, when this just started, it was the night after the European election, and I'd just come out from the... Uh, it's, it's, those of us who don't live in the devolved uh, nations or in, in, uh, in Greater London, we don't often get to um, enjoy the pleasures of proportional representation. Uh, instead, we just have to vote for whoever's going to beat the bastard Tory. So, um, <laughs> and, um, but, of course, with the European elections, I did have an opportunity to, to sort of, uh, you know, vote for a genuinely progressive party, you know, um, like the Greens or someone like that, and I was kind of looking forward to it, but there was something that week, there was just something that I couldn't put out of my mind, and going down to the ballot uh, station, I knew, I knew exactly what I was going to do, I, I just wanted to, I wanted to cast a vote in a way that would best wipe that self-satisfied smirk off of Hazel Blear's face, <laughs> and um, so I put one down for Gordo. And uh, much good it does him in, in the southwest region. Let me tell you, I don't, we, didn't, we didn't go anywhere. But it, it made me feel. Uh, seems to have done the trick as well. So I'm quite surprised. Yeah. Not just me, though, probably. No, I know that. We'll be coming to that in a minute, mate. <laughs> Another day dawns grey. It's enough to make me sick We go on our way Just putting up with it When I try to make my feelings known to you You sound like you have changed from red to blue to you. 